Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back today to do a quick update video for you guys. Um, I can tell that, you know, a lot of people have um, been interested to hear about my story, my journey. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody to kind of who's continuously checking in um, with me and being really kind to me. Um, I said it before, but I mean it. You know, um, people have been really, really amazing. It's very fascinating. The people that you would think would be showing up for me are not. But all these people that I'm meeting um, just day to day, like I meet new people every day. And it really is astounding how um, generous and kind people are um, when they hear about my story. Like just today, um, I was in a coffee shop and I was talking to someone new about my story and he um you know was like I know this guy who is like in a very high position and he's like um let me introduce you to him you know maybe he can get you a job and then he walked in and um this new guy that I was talking to was like hey, you know, why don't you get her job, you know? And so it was just really kind of him to do that, you know? And I think that people that I know really aren't putting the pieces together where it's like the strangers that I meet are like able to put pieces together that normally wouldn't, that everybody else has kind of missed or doesn't have the time for or, um just can't think of, you know, a way to really be helpful. Um, so I don't know, my challenge to you guys this, this week is to really try to put pieces together for people in your life. Like if you know somebody who's in a position to help somebody else, you know, then try to put those pieces together, shoot them an email, send them a text message, call, you know, be like, Hey, I know this person who's able to help. Um, or, and it doesn't even have to be like something similar to what I'm going through. It could be anything really. It doesn't even matter um, what it is. But I mean, putting pieces together is, I feel like really hard right now culturally. You know, there are there's a, a massive amount of people who are on food stamps, okay, that are underemployed. People that, you know, might be in a partnership and their hours are cut, their partner's hours are cut, um, or, you know, they maybe are trying to survive on one income and they have kids. I mean, these are things that are real life issues and it's like, um, trying to put pieces together for others at this time is really, really crucial. I feel like that's like a key message. Um, that happened for me today, something like a blessing that happened today. And I wanted to talk about it just because I'm so grateful for it. But at the same time, I realized I was like, you know, if other people in my life had been putting pieces together for me, I wouldn't be in this situation, you know? So, um, and I, and I recently, I got upset at, um, some people who, um, for two years weren't putting any pieces together. Um, they, they would go out and do things, um, and do things from a very selfish place without considering my feelings, without considering how it would feel if, um, you know, like I learned about where they were going and how much money they were spending. And, um, I just felt like, it was like an emphasis on selfishness. Like it brought my attention to their selfishness and their lack of considering how it was going to make me feel. So as an example, um, let's just say hypothetically, you knew somebody who was out of work. You know, you wouldn't want to go talking to them about say how you were going to go on this long vacation with your family and spend $5,000. Okay. That's just as, as an example, because it would be, it would be just kind of mean, you know, or cruel or rude, you know? Um, people are very shocked to find out that I'm still living out of my car. Um, <clears throat> I'm still very shocked that I'm still living out of my car. Um, you know, I honestly have thought that, um, that people would, uh, respond in a way that was, um, <sighs> yeah, consider, considering, um, where I'm at, um, sort of recognizing where I'm at, but I feel like instead people are, 
I almost feel like, and this is going to sound horrible, but I almost feel like people are wanting to know more for, like, uh, the, uh, the gossip, you know, wanting to really know rather than, than understanding that I'm a human being and that this is a situation in which it's very scary at times, you know, and it's very hard at times. And from like last night, like last night alone, it was 16 degrees. Um, and I slept in my car and last night alone, I stopped being able to feel my feet, um, around midnight you know? So these are things that, you know, and I, and I basically didn't warm up my feet until I think it was close to, uh, six o'clock this morning. So I just, I just want to tell people that, you know, it's not fun. The situation's not fun and please be considerate. Um, please be kind. Um, please, you know, be understanding, but also try to understand that, that other people are in similar situations. And, um, if you can put pieces together for them, even if it's $10, um, where you're going and giving them, you know, some quarters for laundry, or you're going and giving them $10 to go, you know, a gift card to go get some food or something, you know, these things like help people, you know? Um, but I do thank everybody on this channel for being, you know, kind to me and supportive of me. And, um, you know, there's, there's some really amazing people that I've gotten to know through this channel, um, clients of mine who I love very, very much. So, um, just saying thank you. And, um, I'll be back again for more. Uh, I still don't, know if I'm going to be doing private readings, like, like I said, Tuesday, Thursdays, that's still sort of in flux. A lot of things are kind of in flux. Um, I have felt, and this is going to sound very strange, um, that I'm going to be moving and I know I'm living in my car, but I felt like I'm going to be moving and I, like I've been spilling stuff and like my energy starting to become chaotic as if I'm moving and I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. So I guess I tell you to stay tuned because it's going to be news to me wherever it is that I end up going. Uh, my guides really do not want me to know. It's supposed to be a surprise, I think, uh, like a good surprise. So, um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at with things. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. And, um, if you can, please donate. I'd appreciate it. Um, supports where I'm at right now in life and time. And it, it's money towards my laundry. It's money towards my bills. It's money towards just being supportive and helping me solidify housing and things like that. So, um, yeah, I wish you guys all the best. I send everybody big hugs, big kisses. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. All right. Take care. All the best.